Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you how to knit this modern knitted necklace. We're basically just going to knit some little triangles and then incorporate some copper wire into the design. In order to make it, you're going to need some yarn, knitting needles, scissors, copper wire, jewellery components, jewellery pliers and wire cutters and a yarn needle. I personally use some grey double knitting yarn but feel free to use a different weight of yarn if you wish. Just bear in mind that the end result will either be bigger or smaller than my version, depending on what weight you use. For the copper wire, I used 18 gauge wire. And for the jewellery components, I used gunmetal chain, plus a lobster clasp and some jump rings in a matching colour. Okay, so the first step is to knit the triangle shapes. To begin, just cast on 8 stitches. I personally use the long tail cast on method, but you can use any technique. For row 1, which represents the wrong side of the knitting, you need to purl across the row. So that's purl 8 stitches. Always remember that the working yarn needs to be at the front of the needles towards you when you're doing purl stitches and behind the needles away from you when you're doing knit stitches. For row 2, you begin by knitting 1 stitch. Then you need to do a K2 tog decrease, which is where you just knit 2 stitches together. So take your right hand needle up through 2 stitches instead of the usual 1, and then do all the normal steps of a knit stitch. This reduces 2 stitches down to 1. Then knit 2 stitches. and do another K2 tog. So just knit two stitches together. And then knit the last stitch. Then for row three, you just purl across the row. So that's purl six. And for row four, you begin by knitting a stitch. Then do a K2 tog. So that's knit two together. Then another K2 tog. And finish the row by knitting a stitch. Then for row five, you purl across the row. So that's purl four. And then for row 6, it's just K2 tug. And then another K2 tug. For row 7, you purl 2 stitches. And for row 8, you do a K2 tug. This will leave you with just one stitch. Cut the working yarn to leave you with a yarn tail at least 6 inches long. Then take this tail through the last stitch and tighten. Then feed this yarn tail into a yarn needle and weave it into the back of your knitting. Then do the same for the other yarn tail as well. You've now completed one triangle. You now just need to repeat this four more times. Once you've made five triangle shapes, it's time to add the copper wire. So cut a length of copper wire, like so and bend it in half. The length of this folded wire needs to be at least half an inch longer than the sides of your knitted triangles. Feed the ends of this piece of wire into the bottom point of the triangle, so that each wire end goes under one strand of yarn, one on each side. Then do the same again, but the wire ends need to go under a strand of yarn about halfway up the sides of the triangle. And finally, do the same at the two top corners of the triangle.
Then shape the wire so that the sides are straight and are as far apart as they can go. Then use rounded pliers to create a loop at each end of the wire. Cut off any excess wire using your wire cutters. Then just repeat this step for all of the triangle shapes. Once you've done that, you then need to join these triangles together. So open a wire loop on one of the triangles and join it to the next one. And just join all the triangles in the same way. Note that you will have to angle the wire loops to make sure all of the triangles line up and they all hang down nicely. Next, use your jewellery pliers to attach a jump ring and a length of chain to each end of the triangles. If you're wondering how long to make the necklace, 16 inches is a popular choice, but it's completely up to you. And at the other ends of the chain, add a jump ring to one side and a jump ring and a lobster clasp to the other. And that's it, that's the bunting necklace completed. I really like the contrast between the copper wire and the knitting and I just think the wire work makes it look so much more modern. I really hope you enjoyed this project and thank you very much for watching.